14 years old, just like you. I don't understand why I'm not allowed to be a part of this battle. You can, if you really want to. You can have the most important job. You can follow us patriots or do our chores, because that's what women do. I don't want to be on the sidelines. I want to be out there fighting for what I believe in. Do you remember when my mother gave me this necklace? She told me to always keep it on. Tell me remember that a piece of her is always with me. She was strong and independent, but pushed me to do what I thought was right. Fighting for what I believe in is right. You're just being silly. Your mother didn't mean going into battle and being on the front lines. We need you to stay home and take care of our families or do all the chores. That is something your mother and I would both agree on. Why do you all say I'm being silly? I'm every bit as capable as you are to fight for our freedom. What makes you so different from me? Do you really have to ask that question? On being serious. Then let's be serious. Do you really want to know what it's like out there? The brutal honesty of it all? I want to see it for myself. Be part of it. Feel like I'm doing something. I'm sitting on the sidelines, but taking care of what I believe in. <laughs> then listen to me. It's tiresome gru and grueling. It takes an emotional toll on you. The loss, the grief, and the fear you feel every day. Um, the doubt that you will make it out alive. Is this getting through to you? Do you want to hear more? Should I keep going on? I hear what you're saying, but it doesn't change how strongly I feel about this. I want to be part of this. I want to fight. Fighting in a war changes who you are. It changes your outlooks on life. If you, if you make it out alive, the memories don't go away. The smells, the sounds, they stay with you. The death is always there. It surrounds you and takes you over. Even if you make it out alive, part of you dies. You've been fighting in this war for six months. You started out as a water carrier. Now you're a private. You seem to be doing just fine. Are you serious? You know what it was like for me after I lost my brother in the Battle of Lexington? What I went through? But you went back. Not out of choice, but out of obligation. And for my brother. I want to fight out of choice. You just don't get it. You just don't understand. I don't understand why all the men in my life laugh when I say I want to fight for my freedom. Am I that different from my brothers or my best friend who are allowed to join the army and be a soldier? I can do what they do. I'm just as strong and as brave as they are. Women are not soldiers, they tell me in that mightier than thou voice. Women are meant to take care of us. Thomas is always saying that you just don't understand. Well, guess what? I want to understand. I'm not going to sit back and let others fight for my freedom. I'm going to stand up and fight for myself. If I can't do it as Josephine Smith, I'll do it as Joseph Smith, the newest addition to the Continental Army. this. We can win. Another unit is coming to help, but we can't wait. We should go out there and end this. Why are they all so worried? And I'm not. They've been in the army longer. They're just tired. We're going to win this battle, and I'm going to be a part of it. Look at me, side by side with all these men, and equal. They accept me as one of their own. As Joseph, anyway. It's only my name that makes me different from them. Finally, I'm fighting like the men do. Oh my God, Peter's been shot. What do I do? Someone help him. Peter, Peter. He's dead. Should have done something. But what? Someone's coming. I hear him. What do I do, what do I do? I've never shot anyone. I've never killed anyone. He's coming. I hear him. I have to do something. I don't want to die. Oh my god.
What did I do? Did I kill him? Move. Please, get up. I didn't want to kill you. I didn't mean it. I just wanted to live. Did you have a wife? Children? Parents? What are they going to do? What have I done? What have I done? Soldier? That necklace? Josephine? Josephine! My name is Joseph Smith. Thomas? What happened? Thomas? Uh, quiet. I have to stop this bleeding. Here, take this cloth and keep it, and keep it pressed against your chest. You're not going to die on me. Oh, I'll be right back. I have to get something to treat this wound. What was she thinking? Joseph Smith? Didn't she I just don't understand her. Didn't she listen to my stories about the horrors of war? The smell of blood and death? How it feels to watch your brother die in your arms? Why, why did she do this? Uh, didn't, did she think it was going to be easy? Didn't she know that she could die? Now what am I supposed to do? She has to leave the army. Even if that means losing our friendship. Josephine, listen to me. I can't lose another person I care about. I couldn't do anything about my brother, but I can do something to save you. You have two, sorry, you have two choices. Take the medical discharge you've earned with this wound, like any other soldier would, or I'm going to have to tell your unit that you are not Joseph Smith, but you are Josephine. Because I'm Josephine, your friend, I have to choose. If I were Joseph, would I still have to choose? I'm trying to keep you safe. You've proved yourself equal, but that's not what this is about. Josephine, I can't lose you. I couldn't do anything about my brother, but I could do something to save you. The army doesn't let women fight in the war. You've proved them wrong, but that regulation gives me the ability to protect you. I have to. Thomas, maybe you're right. I didn't understand what it was like to fight in a war, but now I do. I understand why you need to protect me, and I love you for it. I'm going to take the medical discharge. I proved to myself that I'm no, for, no different than you or my brothers. I will tell my story to others, and who knows, maybe people will finally begin to realize that women can handle the same responsibilities that men can. <laughs>